Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. And it's night time. Time set day. Welcome back to the Tinkerbox. As usual, this is Shadow Studios 9, Minecraft username Primary Artemis. And today, if you can't tell by all of this shindiggery, we are checking out command blocks. I've been playing with command blocks a lot because of, uh, well this track has nothing to do with what we're doing, but um, I've been using command blocks a lot because I have a little project I'm working on with command blocks. Neat stuff, neat stuff. Hope to show it to you guys in the relatively near future-ish kind of. We'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm going to go over a couple of command block things and a lot about the game rules that I've been playing with. Now the first thing is since command block you have to create a clock to send to make a command block continuously check the condition you set in so whoops like if you check this condition here it checks if a player is at these coordinates and if a player is at these coordinates then it will send you back and a lot of times you want multi multiple commands set at once. So you see it teleports you back and when you get teleported back it will say you shall not pass and also just to show you can get a third one in there it says RAR. So really quickly if I just turn this little clock on that was made so that um, every command block gets a pulse every tick. I'll show you guys how to build this in a second and just quickly flip that on and off and the clock will start going and if I try to enter this little area right here, you'll see I get teleported back and it says you shall not pass RAR. So for some reason that bottom one doesn't like to trigger every time. I think that's because of the fact I got teleported back before it did its check. But aside from that, it's still running every time. Most of the time you'll get a RAR out of it. So doop. either that or my range is too small. What is the range on this one? One, yeah, anyway. So this little system gets you three command blocks being checked at once. This system gets 10 command blocks going at once. However, I need to set this up. The only problem about this 10 setup is that there's a tick delay between these and these. So it goes a tick here, 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 a tick here which wouldn't be so great for something like area protection. Notice I can walk in this area because I turn these command blocks off. But for most other checks, having a tick between each check shouldn't be too much of a problem, and I think it's not a bad trade-off to get 10 commands being checked at once. Now, really quickly, I will show you how to build these guys. So first off, for the three blocker, you dig down a block, you place a block, put a block to the side, place another command block on it, block, block, and that's how you get three command blocks on top of each other. And then after you do that, I should probably have my redstone and my clocks here. You put four pieces of redstone, like that, and then on every piece of redstone, you put a block and then at every corner you put another block and then on each section you put one normal repeater, one repeater with full delay, one repeater, one repeater with full delay, one repeater, one repeater with full delay. And then after that it's just a simple matter of throwing a lever on and flicking it on and off to get the commands going. Now you can do what I did over here and put a little piston on it to be able to pull out a block to start and stop the clock. Now this clock is very similar. You build the same base except in the center. You go down one, put your block, cover it with a block, get a redstone torch, put that on that block, put a command block on every side of the redstone torch, put a block on that, oh, that's a gas, luckily I'm in peaceful, yeah, 
put a block on top of that redstone torch and then you just cover that redstone torch up with blocks like so and there you go and that's how you build this one over here that does 10 commands every other tick now another cool thing that's been added is game rules and we're going to go over each one of them here we're going to start with what I think is the coolest one which is game rule do fire tick false so before I get to the command I want to show you this setup I have here this setup is so that you can use a lever to toggle these things on and off so while the lever is up fire spreads normally while the whoops while the lever is down it's the spread is off and to build that you just do this and this top block will be the default command where oh, I got that backwards this one will be the default command or what the game is normally set at you'll see here this one is slash game rule do fire tick true which is how it normally is and the top one is the inverse of that and then you just throw a lever on here and when you flick the lever on it turns this torch off and turns this on when you flick it back on this block then receives power thus switching the game rule back to default so we'll start with the fire tick being on we'll throw this down and change to hard and you'll see it starts spreading like crazy now turn this off and the spreading stops however the thing about do fire tick is when you turn do fire tick off fire never goes away you can just leave it there forever now why do I bring this up because this lets you do some really cool aesthetic things aside from uh, useful things if you want to create like a wall of fire or something if the fire tick is off you can do this cool thing where you can just light these pieces of wood on fire and get this medieval type burning chandelier which I've always wanted to be able to do in Minecraft visually it's just never been possible before but now with fire tick off this fire will never spread and it will also never go away now the only thing to note about do fire tick being off is that if you have a block adjacent it will also look like it catches on fire just because it, the fire is in this block right here and since this wood block is now next to the block the fire block occupies this block catches on fire but aside from that the fire won't spread so I'll just leave it like that so we can just keep the cool burning medieval lamp now the next game rule is command block output so you'll notice when I changed the game rule I got this little thing that says the game rule has been changed the game rule has been changed now on this one when I flip this you'll notice it says nothing because the game rule the command block output is now off which means whenever a command block does something it's not going to tell you it did that thing so then I turn it back on and you'll see game rules been updated which means the command blocks will now start telling you what they're doing again you'll probably want to turn this off in maps that you're using it or else people's console will just get filled with command block spam the next one is do mob loot false and which is pretty self-explanatory do mob loot and please note on these game rules every first word after every word after the first word has its first letter capitalized that's how they differentiate so do capital M and mob capital L and loot false and when you change this game rule if you kill a mob like let's say a creeper you'll notice you don't get anything except experience you still get experience and when you turn that on throw a creeper down kill 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 there you go you get your sulfur as usual and the one after that is do mob spawning false which is pretty self-explanatory if you turn this on then mobs will not spawn naturally however you can still spawn them in via an egg so it's kind of nice it's like a, it lets you in something like an adventure map or a server it lets you be really specific about places monsters can spawn 
so we'll just set that back. Well, actually, I'll just leave that off because I don't really want monsters on the map right now. The next one is do tile drops. So if I give myself a pick really quickly and throw down some netherrack and change my game mode, you'll see that when I break this block, I still get a tile. Why is that? Oh, uh, that would be because I didn't change it. Whoops. Okay, when I plop the block and break it, what? Oh, I put some extra W's in there. Let's try this again. Put a block down, break it. What in the world? Okay, guys, that was my bad. I did uh, do I did slash game mode, not slash game rule. So let's just pop back over to survival. And now when I break this block, you'll see that nothing drops. Flip this back on, and block drops. So that's fantastic. Good for adventure maps where you don't want someone being cheaty cheaty. Okay, and now we have game rule keep inventory, which I am definitely turning on for this world so that watch slash kill, I die, I go back to the main menu, and I can't click single player because you'll see my project. Okay, now we are back in the game and you'll see that uh, I kept all my junk. So that's fantastic. And also you'll notice that all of the fire I put down is still here not doing anything. Just to uh, remind you guys about the fire thing because I like it. I like the fire thing. I think it's pretty cool. Now which one was I on? Uh, did that one, did that one. And this final one is mob griefing which is kind of odd, so let me just turn this off. It's supposed to keep mobs from being able to quote-unquote slash time set day. It's supposed to be able to keep mobs from griefing you. And I left the map. Game mode zero. And so you'll see if I spawn a creeper that, yeah, it doesn't do anything. However, for whatever reason, ghasts can still blow things up. So if I just get the gas to shoot at me over here, come on, blow it up. Shoot at the netherrack. Yeah, see, so you can see ghasts can still destroy things. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Uh, maybe they'll fix that in a future update, but currently the mob griefing game rule only affects creepers. It does not affect ghasts, which is kind of a shame because that means ghasts can still wreak havoc on a map if you want to use certain materials. So you can see the command right there. So that's my overview of command blocks and game rules. I hope it's been useful. And again, I, I hope to see the chandelier out and about. I really like it, and I think it would be a really cool addition to adventure maps to just walk into a room and just have like a good old medieval style burning. Burning chandelier. I mean, unless your map requires fire spreading or so something. I, I don't know. But anyway, this has been Prime A. Artemis. YouTube username Shadow Studios 9 Please consider like, commenting, and subscribing. It helps me out a ton, and I hope to see you all next time. Toodles!